And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Steve Calderon. And Steve Calderon writes, Stephen Capel Jr. is set to direct the new Transformers movie. I thought Stephen did a fantastic job taking over for Ryan Coogler in Creed 2, so I have no worries of him helming the new installment. What are thoughts, probably meant your thoughts, what are your thoughts on this news, and do you think the new Transformers will be a reboot or a continuation of Bumblebee? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And uh, yeah, Stephen Capel who I had never really heard of, to be honest with you. He had, he had done one or two other little things. But until Creed II came around, I, I had never, you know, he wasn't a, a household name in the Campia household. Let's put it that way, right? So he comes in with very, very big shoes to fill to do Creed II taking over the director's chair from Ryan Coogler. Big shoes to fill. And I got to say, I liked Creed II. I did. I, I like Creed 2. Actually, I liked it quite a bit. I did not think it was as good as the original Creed, but that's a very, very tall order. But still, I thought Creed 2 was really quite good and really quite solid. Anyway, now he's doing Transformers. This comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who write, After meeting with several top execs, including Paramount Motion Pictures president Emma Watts, the studio saw Capel as the best fit for the franchise that the studio chose to revamp at the top of the year. That's important note there. They chose to revamp the franchise. Anyway, at the top of the year, having two simultaneous scripts that are in active development, one by James Vanderbilt and one by Joby Harold. Harold's film eventually would be chosen as the next installment in the franchise. So it was Joby's script that got picked. And once he had given his final touches on the script at the end of the summer, the studio began taking director pitches on the next film. All right, first off, I should say this, my first concern about this, and there are a number of concerns I have about this story. The first concern I have about this is Joby Harold, the screenwriter. Now, look, I'm not here to ditch on him. All right, let's be clear. But he has written some very unsuccessful films. One film he did, which is honestly like a top 15 worst film I've seen in theaters in my entire life, um, was the Hayden Christensen film. I believe it was called Awake. I believe it was called Awake. It's the one where he has to go under for open heart surgery, but he's not actually unconscious. He's awake. His body just looks like it's asleep and he's experiencing it. It's anyway, not a very good film. He also wrote... The recent Charlie Hunnam's uh, star, uh, King Arthur, starring Charlie Hunnam. Now, I'm one of the few people on this green earth that actually liked Charlie Hunnam's King Arthur movie. I did. I admit it. I liked it. But the reality is the vast majority of the other human beings on the planet did not like it at all. Mm. And it failed utterly miserably. Now, there's a lot that goes into that. So, but so listen, again, I'm not here to bag on the Duke because he might be capable of an award-winning script, right? I'm just saying, as a Transformers fan, seeing that this guy's script is the one that was picked, it just makes me a little cautious right now. It just makes me a little cautious. The other bit of apprehension that I feel is that, you know, they knocked it out of the park with Bumblebee. They really did. With Travis Knight directing, who also, of course, directed Kubo and the Two Strings, with Travis Knight directing, they found a way to infuse humanity and heart into the Transformers franchise, something it had sorely missed ever since the very first Transformers movie. There had been no heart in any of the Transformers films. Travis Knight comes along and he he took all the great, fun, bombastic nature of Transformers and he infused it with heart. And I loved it. I loved Bumblebee and I was really hoping as had kind of been rumored and whispered that they would just continue on with that. But it sounds like they've just decided to pull the plug on everything and just revamp the whole franchise. So it sounds like at any rate, a move to reboot. We'll see how that goes. Now, as far as Steven himself goes, it is very difficult to judge anybody when you don't have enough of a sample size, 
right? When you just simply don't have enough of a sample size. And for me right now, the only thing I've got from him is Creed 2, which I think he did quite a good job on. I think he did quite a good job on that. Yes, it was a step down from Ryan Coogler, but right now Ryan Ryan Coogler is like one of the gold standards of directors in Hollywood right now. So that's not such a bad thing. He stepped into Phil Big Shoes and I thought he did a damn good job. So is he a good fit for Transformers? I don't know. I don't know. Again, I just don't have a big enough sample size. So all I can do right now is kind of sit back and go, okay, Paramount, we're going to trust you. We're going to trust you. We're going to trust you picking Joby's script, and we're going to trust you that Steven is the guy to direct that script. I, again, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to be negative. I'm just saying I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I was a little bit apprehensive. That's all. Just a little. It's just a, a little bit of healthy apprehension. That's all. But also great hope. So let's see what they do with this as they revamp the Transformers franchise. Here's hoping it's going to be as good as, as it maybe has the promise to be. Here's hoping they can really start to capture the magic and awe and wonder of what the Transformers can be on the big screen. And we'll see what they come up with. Question is, guys, what do you think about this announcement? It's really a couple things in one that they're moving ahead with this revamping of Transformers. We got the director from Creed 2 doing it. How do you feel about that? Does the choice of screenwriter worry you? Jump on down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. Okay, guys.